good morning dear students as all of you know that we are uh, discussing about natural resources and in this category today we will talk about energy resources energy resources are all the resources which has a potential to generate or produce energy out of it so let's talk about uh, the energy resources which are available in the nature an energy resource is a resource that can produce heat move objects or produce electricity the matter that stores energy is called fuel the natural resources such as coal sunlight wind and waves can be used to produce energy these are the energy resources now energy resources can be categorized into uh, two sub categories based on their rate of regeneration and these categories are non renewable energy resources as well as renewable energy resources the non renewable energy resources can not be easily regenerated because they take millions of years to form the examples under this category are oil natural gas coal coal etc we are using them faster than they are being formed this means that uh, in the future one day these resources will end up on the other hand we have uh, some resources which can be regenerated very fastly and these resources are known as renewable energy resources the rate of regeneration is very fast and these resources will never end up the examples under this category are wind power tides solar energy biofuel etc now we'll talk about the energy and the gas formation uh, under the category non renewable energy resources the earth's crude oil and natural gas is formed from the marine plants and animals died millions of years ago these dead microscopic animals and plants sink down and get buried to the bottom of ocean along with other sediments such as sand mud etc and then these sediments get buried deeper and deeper over millions of years because of uh, change in temperature and pressure the dead material in these sediments turns into gas and oil the oil and gas then move upwards through tiny pores in the rocks and gets trapped under the impermeable layer of rock and it is then be taken out using the long drills so in this picture we you, you can see that the oil and gas which is trapped below the impermeable layers of the rock is being drilled using an oil rig so this is how the non renewable energy resources such as Uh, oil and gas is formed and it is extracted using a powerful long drill process now once these uh, non renewable energy resources are extracted uh, in the form of oil and gas then these are used as a fuel to burn uh, are burnt to produce uh, heat out of the water so when this water is uh, converted into steam that steam is used uh, to rotate the turbines which in turn can produce electricity so this is how we use this oil and gas to generate electricity and the crude oil is then purified into jet engine oil petrol and diesel etc which are used as a fuel in the planes and vehicles when the oil and gas are burnt they release a uh, carbon dioxide gas into the atmosphere and all of us know that co2 carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas and it is responsible for uh, causing global warming now talking about the renewable resources we have number of renewable resources available on this planet the some of the examples are geothermal energy which is actually the heat that is present uh, in the lithosphere 
and this heat can be used to generate uh, electricity. The another renewable resource is biofuel, then we have solar energy which is uh, trapped by the solar panels to generate electricity. Then uh, the hydroelectric projects are also an example of renewable energy resource in which we use the kinetic energy of water to run the turbines which in turn can produce electricity. Uh, another important renewable resource is wind energy in which the kinetic energy of wind is used to uh, rotate the blades of uh, a windmill which is connected to uh, which is connected to a generator which can generate electricity. So, these are some of the examples of renewable energy resources which we will discuss in our uh, next lectures in detail uh, that what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, each of these renewable resources and how we can solve our problem of uh, electricity deficiency in the future using these renewable resources because these resources are available in plenty of amount. So, it is advisable to use all these resources as per their uh, priority on the particular location. For example, if you want to generate electric electricity uh, near the ocean areas, then we have good amount of wind blowing in that area. So, installation of a windmill is preferable to such areas. If we have a geothermal zone in any area, then the geothermal heat can be used for generation of electricity. If we have uh, availability of biofuel then to any area, then this biofuel can also be used for generation of electricity. The areas which lie near to the equator where uh, sunlight is available in good amount. In such areas, uh, solar power plants can perform very well for generation of electricity. The mountain areas where uh, large uh, amount of water is available in the rivers, the hydroelectric projects can be installed in such areas for generation of electricity. So, based on the topography, based on the availability of any particular renewable resource at any area, we can select uh, the specific resource for generation of electricity in that area. So, we will discuss all these uh, renewable resources in detail in the next lectures. Now, talking about the total energy generation and annual growth in terms of percentage in India. Through this graph you can see that the total electricity generation in India increased from 2011 to 2020. So, in 2011 the total electricity generation in India was near about 928 billion units and it was then increased to 970, then 1020, 1100 in year 2014-15. And in by the end of 2019-20, this electricity generation uh, in India has increased up to 1389 billion units. The blue line also tells us about the percent growth every successful year. So, you can see that the growth varied every year from 2011 to, 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 to 2019-20. The maximum growth in terms of energy generation in India in past 10 years was found in uh, year 2011-12 and that was about 9.1 percent higher than the previous year. By the 2019-20, this energy generation growth declined to 1 percent only. 
and on an average if we see between 2011 to 2018 19 on an average the percent growth of total energy generation in india was roughly between 4.5 to 5.8 so this uh, tells us that the demand for the energy in india is increasing year by year so we now have to look for another options or another available resources which can be utilized for generation of uh, energy in india so that was a brief uh, data related to the energy generation in india uh, from 2011 to 2020 uh, with the percent increment in every year so in the next slide i have taken some uh, data from uh, central electricity authority department which tells us about the total installed capacity of india under different segments so the upper table tells us about uh, the energy generation from different segments such as the energy generation from thermal power plants in india <coughs> as of 31st of august 2020 was near about 231000 megawatt and this is near about 61.9 percent of the total installed capacity in india whereas the hydropower projects contribute about 45,699 megawatt energy generation every year and that is about 12.2 percent of the total uh, installed capacity in india the nuclear uh, power plants contribute to a very least uh, percentage that is only 1.8 percent of the total electricity generation in India whereas the energy generation through renewable energy resources it includes small hydro projects biomass gasifiers biomass power urban and industrial waste power solar power as well as the wind energy so combinedly the renewable energy resources generate near about 89,636 megawatt of electricity every year and it contribute to 24 percent of the total electricity generation in India. So, we can see that the renewable energy resources now contribute only roughly 25 percent of the total electricity generation in India whereas, uh, we get near about 62 percent of the total e electricity generation in India through thermal power plants. And we know that these thermal power plants are responsible for release of uh, large volumes of harmful gases such as carbon dioxide and which is chiefly responsible for uh, increase in the temperature of uh, this planet and in turn uh, this causes global warming. So, now there is a need to make a shift from uh, these thermal power plants to the renewable energy resources. Although in the recent past India has made a remarkable pros, uh, progress in terms of uh, shifting from non renewable energy resources to renewable energy resources. So, but still there is uh, a big opportunity uh, with the country like India where we have uh, uh, various options of renewable energy resources for generation of electricity. So, now if we talk about uh, the renewable energy resources and if we see the breakup of renewable energy resources in India as on uh, 31st of uh, October 2020, then renewable energy resources in India includes small hydropowers which uh, generate near about 4740 megawatt of electricity that is 5.3 percent of total energy generated through renewable energy resources in India whereas the wind power contribute to 42.7 percent 
of uh, the total electricity generation using renewable energy resources. The biopower contributes roughly about 11.32 uh, percent, the solar power uh, approximately 40.5 percent. So, we can see through this table that among all the renewable energy resources, India is uh, producing near about 83 percent of energy from wind power as well as solar power. So, most of our renewable energy resources are wind as well as solar, solar power. So, this is uh, about uh, the total installed capacity uh, in India and uh, the contribution of different renewable energy resources for electricity generation in India. So, that was all about today's lecture and in the next lecture we will talk about uh, the uh, various renewable energy resources such as solar energy, wind energy, hydropower energy and uh, tidal energy etcetera. We will see their uh, advantages as well as disadvantages and the mechanism or the process through which we generate electric electricity using these resources. So, that was all about today. Uh, thank you very much.